Have this signed and return it to me. Yes. Captain de Brizac. Private de Brizac of the King's Guard. Oh, <laughs> my boy. <laughs> I'm proud of you. How did you like your first day in the guard, huh? Splendid, sir. Splendid. Coffee. I've spent all my life in the service of the king. My greatest satisfaction is to know that my son will follow in my footsteps. Remember our motto, my boy. God and the king. Yes, sir. <laughs> Who are you? That'll be all, Private de Brizac. Very well, you son. Come with me. What is it? What's the trouble? Oh, don't look in the Run. Oh, my heart. You Where? hurry. Well, what? Why don't you hurry? I ran all the way through the woods. And I shouldn't, you know. My heart. Yes, but... I uh... saw her. I tell you, from the top of the hill. She went down. And she came up. And she went down. Hurry. But please, oh, madame. Oh, oh, that girl. That poor girl. The girl in the lake. In the lake? Yes. Oh, the poor girl. That's what about oh, it? Why don't you go? I told you. She's drowning. Oh. Drowning? Yes. But why didn't you say so? Oh, you didn't give me a oh. chance. nice day, isn't it? Well, uh, uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it's a trifle warm, but... Uh, <laughs> Very warm. I think I'd better be going. No, please don't. You know why I'm here, don't you? No, I don't believe I do. I was reaching for that water lily, and I fell in. Oh, oh, I see. Uh... Oh, I had them on when I fell in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yes. And, and they got all wet. <laughs> <laughs> of course they would. <laughs> and uh, while they were drying, uh, I thought I'd cool off. <laughs> <laughs> well, why not? <laughs> and that's why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. <laughs> but really, you know, I don't understand. You'll pardon me if I appear puzzled, but I was told that you went down and came up and, and went down. Yes, I did. You were drowning? Oh, no. My foot caught. And I can't get it out. <laughs> it's no use. I can't get it out. Oh. Well, perhaps I can help you. Ready? Good. Hold tight. <laughs> there we are. How can I ever thank you? <laughs> oh, you pardon me. <laughs> <laughs> Out 
here I feel so free. And I can forget all about work. I take it you don't like to work. I hate it. I see you work in LeBee's millinery shop. I slave in LeBee's millinery shop. And all day long, all I see are pretty things. Hats, silks, gowns, laces, feathers, ribbons. And, and look at me. I am. You know, I, I love pretty things. Somehow they set me all a tingle. Just look at this hat. I'm delivering it to the Marquise de Crenay. Does the Marquise live in the woods? Oh, no. But I stole the time to walk through the woods on the way. Isn't it beautiful? Uh, but to her, it's just another hat. She has millions of them. And gorgeous gowns and jewels. Oh, it must be wonderful to live for the mere luxury of living. To deny yourself nothing. Squander money. Throw it away. Why am I so discontented? Aren't we all? I think everyone wants to enjoy life. Is it wrong to... to want so terribly to enjoy it? To long to do just as you please. To come and go when you want. To live in luxury and, and love and love. Oh. I must be wicked. No. You're just unnaturally natural. Were you ever in love? I don't know. But if it makes you perfectly happy, if you don't have to work and slave, I'd love to be in love. You would? Shall I take this to your carriage, madame? Yes, do. Yes, you know, that's, that's really quite attractive, mademoiselle. I, uh, I rather like this trimming, and, uh, I love you. No, no, it won't do at all. You'll have to take it off. Uh, may I take this hat? They've been asking for it. Surely, Denny. You know, Denny is the oldest friend I have. And the best. Oh, <laughs> oh madame. Monsieur? I want to buy a negligee. The very finest in your shop. If you will have Mademoiselle Jeannette deliver it this evening at La Gourdon. We'd be very glad to, Monsieur. I'll show you some. Yes, I'm sure that uh, my sister will like that. You may deliver it at the late tonight. About nine o'clock. You'll go out through the woods and the fields that you love. Oh, it'll be glorious in the moonlight with you, Jeannette. Thank you, monsieur. This evening, without fail. Yes, monsieur. I shall deliver it at nine o'clock tonight. You're sure you remember the place? Uh, near the lake, isn't it? Uh, quite near. Mademoiselle Jeannette? Here's another delivery. You can make it at the same time. It goes to La Gourdon. You've heard of her place, haven't you? Be all right if I delivered this one first. It may take me a long time to deliver this one. Why, I suppose so. from Labie? Yep, 
atmosphere. Here are the packets. Oh, I know. It is for La Goudin. Could you bring it to her, please? Just one moment, please. Really, you can't move. But I can. Oh, I love it. It's love. <laughs> Gold is love. Oh, Gold is the only love. Oh, 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 Fascinating, isn't it? Takes one away from the humdrum grind of work. But come. <laughs> Madame, this young lady has a package from La Bille. Yes. Yes, of course. Wait, please. I must look at it first. It's so really exquisite on you. <laughs> it is very, isn't it? Uh, let me see how these go with it. <laughs> oh, my dear child, you were simply made for pretty things. <laughs> You're beautiful. <laughs> oh, what a pity. What a pity you can't afford fine clothes. What a cruel fate that keeps beauty and luxury out of your life. And you long for it, oh. You'll never be happy without it. I can see it in your eyes. What did you find out about this girl? She's at La Goudon's gambling house, sir. La Goudon? Hmm. You mean she frequents the place? No, sir. She is uh, 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 an attraction there. In fact, quite an attraction. She is beautiful. That day I saw her at the races. The way she... As she walked. Yes, sire. She has many admirers? Oh, a few, sire. The uh, Count de Neville, the Marquis de Clermont, the Duke de Brienne, the Baron de Breteuil, the Duke... Hmm. Hmm. Are there any favored ones? Not one, sire. Hmm. During the few months she has been there, the proudest courtiers of Paris have been at her feet. But the only favor she has ever bestowed is a saucy smile. Well, now, arrange for me to meet that girl tonight. Yes, sire. A midnight supper at my apartment? Yes. Very well, sire. I can arrange for such a meeting with Monsieur du Barry. I 
don't believe it. I don't believe it, I tell you. I simply don't believe it. Read it, my dear madame, read it. He wants to meet her tonight, incognito. She must not know that he is the king. The king? Jeanette. I simply don't believe it. Oh, she'll catch his fancy, I'm sure. If only I can persuade her to let me manage her affairs. What a price. I must find her at once. Pat. I don't believe it. I simply don't believe it. My dear René, remember the saying? Unlucky at court. My dear Jeanette, my You're charming this evening. Monsieur, you must pardon me, but I have news for Mademoiselle. Dazzling news. I must speak to her at once. Oh, do come back. We need you in the game. Dear Jeanette, you should be very happy. When I think of what you were and what I've made you. You've made me. You've made me the unhappiest woman in France. Ah, oh, come, Jeanette, be gay. You're going out with me tonight, to a midnight supper. And there'll be a surprise for you, a glorious surprise. Oh, I'm not going. You're not, eh? Thinking of that Cossé again, aren't you? Yes, I'm thinking of him. There isn't a moment when I'm not thinking of him. Oh, come, Jeanette. Forget him. Think of the way he's treated you. That day after you came here, I know where you went. To see him. To explain. And he wouldn't do this wouldn't even see you. And every time you've tried and tried... Jeanette, surely you're not going to tolerate such insults. Jeanette, why break your heart over him? Forget him. I am the best friend you have. Let me guide you, Jeanette. You and I together. I am not. Don't look at me like that. And don't touch me. Well, you're going to be tonight. I'm not. And I'm not going to stay here. I hate it. I'm unhappy, I tell you. I want to get away from here. I want to go back. Oh, why did I ever come to this place? Oh, damn it. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, I tell you. You're surprised to see me, mademoiselle, but no more surprised than I am to be here. Oh, I tried to forget. But when I saw you driving by today, I... I saw you too. You looked away. No wonder. Jeanette, how could you? I don't know. Why do I always take a direction I never mean to take? It just happened this way instead. Oh, Cossie. I don't deserve you. Not even the sight of you. You said you loved me. I do. More than my life. Jeanette. I can't give you up. 
Oh, I'm mad with love for you. Oh, my cousin. Just give me back my faith in you. Let's begin all over again. Begin where we ended that day in La Bees, together. Yes, yes, tonight. Jeanette, Jeanette, listen, dear, you don't understand. I do, I do. You want me. Oh, yes. Jeanette, listen, I want to take you away from this place forever. As my wife. Your wife. I do anything on this earth for you, for that. Jeanette, my love, we'll find happiness at last. Listen, dear, there's a little house at Saint Gervais where I used to live in the peaceful quiet of the country. The most restless heart in the world can find peace there. We'll be happy, my love, gloriously happy. But for how long? Jeanette, have you no faith in me? I have no faith in myself. I'm afraid to give myself into a good man's keeping. For someday I should find myself gone. To the something that seems to push me. Where I never mean to go. I'm always sorry when I do something wrong. But I'm always sorry too late. But it isn't too late, Jeanette. It is, it is. Listen to me. I believe in you. Don't believe in me, Cossie. Only too soon you'll find you're wrong. It will only break your heart. If you really love, you'll be everything in God's earth a man wants you to be. And you do love me, don't you? Then you're coming with me. Do you understand? Tonight, I'll never let you out of my arms again. No, I'm afraid. Don't be afraid. Tonight, we'll be together. There'll be only happiness tonight in my arms. Get your things. It won't take you long to pack. I'll be back as quickly as I can find a carriage. Cossie! Don't come back here. Meet me at the gate in the garden. You hurry? Oh, my beloved. We are nearing this little good aunt. Yes, sire. You, uh, you feel quite certain that your majesty would not prefer to meet this girl at the supper I had planned? No, no, no. These formal affairs bore me. Uh, she wouldn't be herself. I have a mind to catch her off her guard. A more uh, intimate meeting might divert me. True, sire. Your mask, sire. Oh, yes. Remember my incognito. A warning. No ceremony. I am merely a messenger from the king. I'm late, Jenny. I must hurry. Is my release ready? Yes, mademoiselle. I'll be out in a minute. Jeanette! Where is she? Get everything ready, quick. They're coming. Lights, lights, lights to the private entrance. How are you fool? They are here. What is it? John was here. No, oh, nobody, nobody near the king of France. The king of France? Here? Merely a messenger from the king. Won't you sit down, gentlemen? Denny, where is Jeanette? Uh, she is dressing, monsieur. She's getting ready to go to the midnight supper you have planned. You can't imagine how delighted she is. I wager she has donned her prettiest gown for the gala occasion. <laughs> but, Marcel, what does this mean? You may as well know it, John de Barry. I'm leaving for good. You're... <laughs> One of our little pranks. <laughs> now, now, my dear Jeanette. <laughs> no prank and you know it. Now, come, 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 my dear Jeanette. You can't fool me. Now, let go of me. Come, put these things away. Give me that box. Now, come, give come, me please. that box. Please. You give me that box. Give, 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 give me that box. Give me that You wiggle like me, and I'll lay down. The sooner I get out of this place, the better. Now, now, please, will you listen to 
me to come on. No, I won't. He's waiting for me and I'm late. Get out of my way. Now, Janet, please. Now, let go of me. I want you to let go of me. You, 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 you won't. Ow! Ow! You won't, hey? You won't. You won't. Janet, please. You won't. Will you be trying to stop me, will you? You won't. Oh, Janet, please, one more. I'm getting out of here. Nobody's going to stop me. Mademoiselle. Nobody's got to keep me from the man I love. Do you understand? A messenger from the key. And I'd like to meet you. Now, Yonder Barry, you stay away from me or I'll... <laughs> His Majesty's envoy would speak to you. I'm sorry. I haven't the time. No, no, no. Please. Please. You'll pardon me. He makes me forget myself. Here. Give that to His Majesty with my compliments. And now, gentlemen, I must go. His Majesty has expressed his admiration for Tell him I'm honored. A meeting might be arranged. But I can't see him. I'm leaving for the country. But His Majesty. I'm going to the fields tonight. To the fields of Saint Gervais. But the king. Oh, the king can go to the devil. <clears throat> Wait. Surely you have some grave reason to ignore His Majesty's messenger? Indeed I have. I'm in love. Weren't you ever in love? Oh, surely you know how it is. A great, big, handsome man like you. The king is in love with you. <laughs> the fat old king in love again? <laughs> yes, this time more than ever before. Then take this kiss to him from me. And you... Oh, he is mad about you. The king is mad about you. Nonsense, he's never seen me. Yes, he has. When? When I was delivering hats to his court ladies? He has seen you when you were yourself. He's thrilled, fascinated by this touch of nature in you. He's so weary of pomp, ceremony, longs for companionship, longs for a lovely creature like you. You enchant me. I love you. I love you. The king. I want you. I love you. You shall have everything your heart desires. A place beside the very throne. Paris will kneel at your feet. The wealth of France will be at your command. The king. The king of France. And the woman he loves. Renal. We will have that little midnight supper. And then... Au revoir, mademoiselle. A high price, mademoiselle. I didn't know the love you offered me was for sale. You warned me I was wrong to believe in you. I hardly expected you'd prove it so soon. I came here to spite him, to hate him. But how can you hate a man when he doesn't care?
Sometimes I almost feel like... Denny, why do you let me think? Send in some of those fools I know are waiting. The greatest men in France. Let them bow and scrape and kiss my hand and tell me how beautiful I am today. Send them in, I say. Bon John Dubarry is waiting. No, not him. I hate the sight of him. I would hardly call those words of gratitude for the humble servant who has set a milliner upon a throne. My dear Countess de Barry. Countess de Barry. The favorite of the king had to have a title, you know. Fortunately, I had a brother with a title for fear. You'll get no more money from me. But my dear Countess, remember your bargain. It is very expensive to live abroad, as my brother has been forced to do since your marriage ceremony. A mere matter of 10,000 louis. Not another sou. My dear sister. Jean Dubarry, you drive me to desperation. Get out of here. I will not get out until... You won't. You won't. Jeanette. You won't. Jeanette. The Countess is in high spirits this morning. Apparently. Monsieur, the Countess will see you now. Monsieur le Duc de Brion. My dear madame. Monsieur le Duc de Mopou. Aha, my dear Countess. May your humble Mopo bid you good morning. Ah, oh, my dear madame, you Gentlemen, are... <clears throat> I am sure you think I look charming this morning. Mm, yes. And divinely beautiful. Mm, yes. Well, what do you want? Oh, my dear Countess. Come, come. I'm weary to formality of great men kissing my hand when they'd like to bite it. Oh, please, please, dear madame. That document. I suppose you must have the king's signature on that, as usual. <laughs> uh, uh, well, this one does happen to be a very important document that it is imperative his majesty should sign. Yes. Yes. Ah, oh, but first, my dear madame, allow me. 200,000 louis for madame's purse for the month. And if madame should require more... For trinkets, jewels... We shall never complain. Have we not already paid madame more than 10 million louis to spend as she pleases? I wonder if there's money enough in France to buy forgetfulness. And tonight, dear lady, is the grand fete in your honor with a magnificent banquet for the most beautiful lady in Paris. With Madame du Barry as the spirit of folly. 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 Very well, gentlemen. Let folly be the fashion of the night. Let it be gay, this glorious fate. Let us have wine and music and dazzling displays. Spend all your money. Throw it to the wind. Ha! Oh, of fate in my honor, we must laugh and be gay. <laughs> His Majesty, the King. Come, my King, a kiss. I am beautiful this morning, Your Majesty. They told me so. Are you not going to kiss so charming a creature? Oh, you beautiful <laughs> little devil, you enchanting king. You thrill me. I love you. You intoxicate me. You... Aha! 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 You have struck your king. Treason! Your punishment shall be a kiss! A kiss! Oh, no, 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 no. 
I got it. I got it. Oh, what a thing. Mofu! Aha! It was you, you little devil, was it? Here, 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 here. Sign this document. Document? I'll sign. I'll sign with my lips a statement that I love you. Not another kiss until you sign. Oh, Janet. Now, just one more kiss. Sign. And then another kiss? Yes, another kiss. What are you doing on that balcony? Why, uh, uh, looking for the stars, Your Majesty. The stars you promised to give me. The stars? Hmm. The stars at noon, eh? They'll be rather hard to find. As hard as what you are really looking for. Your Majesty. Janet, you must forget him. You understand? Forget him. There is no one to forget your Majesty. That is? Do you think I have forgotten that day of the good on? You're going to meet this Cosé de Brizac. You loved him. Just a passing fancy, Your Majesty. Then why are you continually out here on this balcony dreaming of him? I won't have it. You understand? Before I go, madame, permit me to suggest that you abandon all hope of your lover's return, for you will never see him again. Of the king's guard. Can't say his father? Yes. But to question the king's most loyal friend. I must know, Denny. I must know about Kasse. Monsieur le Duc de Brézac. Oh, monsieur, I... I just wanted to ask you a little question. You see, I always watch from my window as the king's guard passes by. I know every face. And if one of them is missing, of course I notice it. One of your soldiers has gone? Yes, my son. He's not... I don't know. But you think... I am afraid nothing else can explain his sudden disappearance. Perhaps he... he went away. Madame, you think of my son as a deserter? Oh, no. He was a loyal soldier, madame. That is our religion. God. And the king, I know. nothing but death, could take my son from the service of the king. Why do you hate me? Because of France, madame, and the people of France. The people who are starving while you squander the money that would buy them bread. Why do you suppose they are banding together, forming a league to oppose the king, the uprising at the palace gates, that raging mob? Don't you know for whom they were calling? For you, madame. For you. They were clamoring for your very life, and no wonder. They live in poverty and distress, while you live like this, 
The millions that you squandered in luxury are being forced from the poor by that terrible pact de famine. You who come from the people. Is it possible that you do not understand the cry of France for bread? The court has bought up every grain of wheat. The peasants must pay the price or starve. And thousands of them are starving, madame, at this moment, while fortunes are being spent to prepare a grand fete in honor of Madame du Barry. You spoke of my son Corsair just now. His last words come back to me. He spoke of you, Madame, and his words were bitter. He said France has been bartered for Jeanette Vaubernier. Bartered to buy creatures for a... a woman. Say that again. Bartered to buy trinkets for a woman. Only he didn't say woman. Have you found them, Denny? I think so, madame. Is this one... Take them away. I don't want to see them. Have them sold for bread. But the fate tonight, madame. It's but a few hours off. There'll be no fate tonight if I can stop it. There's nothing in the whole world that matters now. The man I love despised me. That thought has killed me, Denny. I am as dead here as he is dead at the hands of the king. But I can do something. I must. He told me they were starving. I must tell his majesty. Where is he, Denny? Where is the king? Madame. I must see him, I tell you. I must see him. There are urgent matters to take his attention, madame. That uprising this morning. The fact that I mean. That's it. The Pact of Famine. He must do away with the Pact of Famine. And I shall not do away with the Pact of Famine. At least you will postpone the grand fate tonight. It is resented terribly. In their present bitter mood, it will infuriate the people. It will precipitate a disturbance. A very serious disturbance. The Pact of Famine has goaded the people to desperation. There is great danger, Your Majesty. You are not safe. They are banding together in alarming numbers. They are powerful. Who is their leader? That we do not know. We have spies throughout Paris trying to ascertain his identity. If we could find him... Careful, Your Majesty. <laughs> One of the mob, Your Majesty, he hasn't a chance. Your Majesty, the man we have been seeking, the leader of the mob. Yes. I have just discovered who he is. Well? He is my son. Impossible. I banished that man to the prison of Saint Marguerite months ago. 
He must have escaped, sire. Duke de Brizac, you know your duty. I want your son. He shall not escape. Fine, sir. He's inside the palace. We thought he came in here. Inside the palace? Yes, sir. He's badly wounded. Wounded. God, his majesty. Turn over now. Back at it for the palace. Guard those stairs. Lock those doors. of torture. When for months I lay in that prison hole in San Marguerite, banished by your lover. Day and night I could see you in his arms. The vision mocked me. Mocked me till I screamed for vengeance. That's why they helped me to escape. That's why they made me their leader. Because I hated him. They wanted his life. I swore they'd have it. I want the man who took you from me. I want to kill him. Here. Now, in this room. I, oh, my I, God. Your hands. What can I do? Get uh, you there. Him? Undoubtedly, Monsieur le Duc. I saw him enter this passage, and he was wounded, badly wounded. Open this door, madame. Oh, what do you want? Why is this door locked, madame? Oh, can't I ever have a moment to myself? What is it? Open this door. Not what? that voice, I'll not open the door. Not to that voice. Let me in. I command you. You will not command me. Perhaps if you ask. Then, then please, madame. Ah, uh, that's better. We mustn't forget our manners, you know. Permit me, Your Majesty, while we search the room. Look on the balcony. Hurry. Your Majesty, what does this mean? Search the closet. That room. How dare these men enter my room? Look in the ante room, the corridor. I, uh, this is outrageous. Search every corner. I won't tolerate this intrusion. Wait. Thank you, Your Majesty. Put an end to this outrage. Send them away. Send them 
them away, Your Majesty. Can't you see they distress me? Your Majesty. What are you waiting for? For you, madame. For me? For you. To hand over your lover. My lover? What do you mean? Cosé de Brizac came to this room. I could continue the search and find him, but it would be so much more amusing to watch you surrender him to me. You're mad. I haven't seen him. I will pardon you if you surrender him. I don't know where he is. Why should he come here? Why do you bring these men here to... to disturb me? Can't you realize I, I should be getting ready for the fate tonight? The fate is postponed. Oh, no, it is not. I've changed my mind. Oh, there will be a fate tonight, dear madame. A glorious revel in your honor. There will be lights and laughter, frivolous songs, and uh, a little novelty, especially devised to amuse you, the execution of your lover. Stop it! Stop it! I've had enough! If a man comes within a mile of my room, of course he came to see me. You're mad, insane with jealousy. Now get out! Get out! I don't know where he is. I don't care where he is. He is in this room. He's not in this room. Look for yourself. Look under the table. Look under the chairs. Look in the bed. Look in the car box. Look at the drawers. Look, look, look everywhere. Why don't you search, you fools? Sorry, madame. It would have been such a satisfaction to have found him here. Aiguillon. This man was wounded. Yes, sire. Work me here, gentlemen. The Brishak. Your Majesty, we have not found him. No, the Brishak. But you will. A thorough search of this room, the Brishak. A thorough search. The bed, de Brizac. The bed. With your permission, madame. God and the king, madam. God and the king. 
I look forward with great pleasure, madame, to sitting beside you this evening to watch his execution. avenging his wounded pride as a lover. <laughs> live if you I will halt bring the prisoner forward I will grant him an audience Monsieur Cosé de Brizac, I find it hard to condemn you to die. You come from a long line of loyal soldiers. Your father has paid for your disgrace with his own life, taken by himself after your capture. You are guilty of treason. Yet I find it in my heart to show mercy. It is difficult to punish a child who cries for the moon. It is equally hard to condemn a romantic boy whose treason was inspired by his hopeless love for a great lady. A sense of humor often moves us to compassion, for we always pity the ludicrous. <laughs> And what could be 
more ludicrous than a humble guardsman who sought to be the rival of a king. <laughs> Why do you suppose I saved him from you today? Why do you suppose I struck you, beat you until you were unconscious, and then betrayed you to him? Because of my loyalty, my love for his majesty, a devotion you dared to question. <laughs> Do you wonder they laugh? <laughs> Why you amused me, diverted me. Even a great lady must have her toys, you know. <laughs> Ooh, good boy. <laughs> he wanted me to leave you, sire. You who could give me the very stars of heaven to hang in my hair. He, he wanted me to go to a little house in the country where it would be peaceful and quiet. He wanted me to go out to the fields of Saint-Gervais. He said it would be glorious there in the moonlight. <laughs> he thought I really loved him. <laughs> Didn't you? Didn't you? It was the king I loved all the time. I love the king. I've never loved you. I love the king. I love the king. I am uh, oh, 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 ugly. <laughs> I couldn't do it. It isn't true. Do you think for a moment that I didn't understand? At last, I know that you've loved me always. Oh, my cousin. Will you forgive me, Jeanette, for ever having doubted your love? Oh, I failed. I killed you. Death is a small price to pay for the assurance of your love, Jeanette. I pay it gladly for the greatest happiness I've ever known. Power! Condemned. He said he'd come right away. Oh, 
only a change of God, madame. Madame, it's, it's his watch now. Goodbye. Goodbye, Rosalie. You've been very kind to me. If you should see Cassie, tell him to hurry with the good news. said there was hope. You think there is, don't you? Perhaps. But the revolution has changed things. This badge of the Republic means power. The people are mad with power and hate. But why should they hate me? I'm not an aristocrat. You were the favorite of the king. But that was long ago. The king is dead. I'm just one of the people now, like I used to be. They wouldn't want one of their own to die, would they? One would hardly think so. That's why Cassie said there was hope. You remember? He spoke for me before the tribunal. Yes. When I'm free, I'm going to him just as I am, as poor as when I worked in LeBee's millinery shop. I wish Cussie would come. He's going to take me away. We're going to San Jose to live. Oh, I'm so anxious to get away. To go out to the country. The fields. The woods. I've always loved them so. There's coffee now. It's all right. I know. I could do nothing. They wouldn't listen to me. I'm helpless. It's all right, Conley. Jeanette. I can't give you up. Oh, my cousin. I did so want to live for you. Oh, Jeanette. Jeanette, my love. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters as long as you love me. I'm sorry I made you suffer. We could have been so happy together. Oh, my darling. I won't be afraid. Will... Will you be... Near me, at the end? Jeanette, yes. Well, I can see you? Yes. Then, I won't be afraid, as long as I can see you. Jeanette. I can't give you up. I can't. I won't give you up. Do you hear?
Citizen de Prezac, you know what that means. Yes. Together, forever. <laughs> 